Chapter 5, A Pirate's Life. Pirates were thieves, murderers, and kidnappers. They didn't obey the laws of any land. They did, however, obey rules on board their ships. Pirates called their rules the Articles. The Articles told the men how to behave on board. They listed punishments for breaking the rules. They explained how stolen treasure would be shared by the crew and captain. Every pirate ship had its own set of articles. Here are some common rules. Pirate rules. Number one, every man in the crew shall get an equal share of what is stolen. Number two, no fighting. Number three, no gambling. Number four, no women allowed on board ship. Number five, weapons must be kept clean and ready. Number six, punishment for stealing, running away from a fight, or keeping secrets is death. Pirate captains. There were many jobs on a pirate ship. The most important job was that of the captain. The captain led the crew in battle. He also navigated the ship. This means he was in charge of getting the ship where it was supposed to go. A pirate captain had to follow the articles too. If he didn't do a good job, the crew might throw him overboard and elect a new captain. Even if the captain did a good job, the crew still had lots of power. They voted to decide where the ship would travel. They voted on where and when to go ashore. They voted on whether or not to attack a ship they met at sea. The quartermaster. The ship's quartermaster also had an important job. The quartermaster decided what to steal from a captured ship. He divided up what the pirates stole, he handed out the food, and he told each man what work to do on board the ship. Life at sea. Pirate crews had to work hard to keep their ships in good shape. Sails and ropes had to be mended. Cannons had to be cleaned. Decks had to be washed. Food was hard to find on long sea voyages. Sometimes pirates took a few chickens on board for eggs. They also took dried meat and stale biscuits. The biscuits were called hardtack. Stories say pirates ate them in the dark so they wouldn't see the bugs inside. Pirates who were at sea for a long time sometimes got a disease called scurvy. Scurvy. For many years, no one knew what caused scurvy. Doctors finally learned that it was caused by a lack of vitamin C. British sailors were nicknamed limeys because they ate limes to prevent scurvy. Fresh drinking water was hard to come by on long voyages. Pirates could not drink water from the salty sea, so their ships carried barrels of beer and bottles of wine and rum. Long voyages often meant many days with little to do. Life on board ship could get boring. To pass the time, pirates gambled with dice. They sometimes fought with one another. The articles often had rules against gambling and fighting. It was the quartermaster's job to hand out punishments to anyone who broke the rules. Yikes! There were lots of rats on pirate ships. They ate everything, even the wood of the ship. Pirate punishments. In some stories about pirates, a person who broke the rules was made to walk the plank. The person was blindfolded. His hands were tied. A wide plank was put over the ship's side. The person walked to the end of the plank. Then he fell into the sea. There is not much proof, though, that walking the plank actually happened in real life. Pirates who broke the rules were much more likely to be whipped or shot. Another terrible punishment was called marooning. Marooning. People who were marooned were taken to a deserted island. They were put off the ship. The ship then sailed away, leaving the person alone. The deserted island was usually tiny. The marooned person would starve to death, drown, or die of thirst. He was often left with a gun so he could take his own life. Jack and Annie present Talk Like a Pirate. Show a leg, Luber, or I'll send you to Davy Jones's locker. Shiver me timbers, matey. Show a leg means get up. Pirates slept in hammocks. When they started to get out of a hammock, they would show a leg over the side. Luber, clumsy sailor. Luber is short for land luber, a person who is happier on land than at sea. Davy Jones's locker, the bottom of the ocean. In the 1630s, a pirate named David Jones decided to sink a ship that he and his crew had attacked. After that, pirates said that anything sunk or thrown overboard, including people, 
was sent to Davy Jones's locker. Shiver me timbers! Oh, wow! Pirates called the ship's mast timbers. The timbers would shiver or shake in a storm. Matey, friend. Sailors from the same ship are called shipmates. Matey is short for shipmate. 